We have a few important announcements. Please listen carefully. Um, when we were in Perungudi, we received a prophetic word that you would be moving out to the outskirts of the city and you will get a land there and build an education institution, right? With that prophetic word is where we moved. In, in fact, through another prophetic word, we received this pin code. Even while we were searching in every other place, uh, so we came here through a lot of prophetic direction. And as a part of that prophetic direction, it was said that even though you are leasing the land, you go ahead and put the structure because they would start coming and request you to buy out the land bit by bit and you guys would eventually buy out the land. So that's the reason even though it's leased, we had put up this thing. People always ask, what is the difference between foolishness and faith? And I say the only difference is that you have heard God, right? Uh, that's the only difference. And true to the word, now they have, the owners have come and they want us to buy 10 cents of the land because they are in need of some money. So, yeah. And, uh, see, God gave a promised word, Canaan, as the promised land. But then he said, I'm going to give it to you for possession a bit by bit so that you become stronger to possess the entire thing. And um, so this week, we are supposed, so 10 cents, the, the quoted price is 60 lakhs. So in which the 50 percentage they want to be paid this week and the next 50 percentage to be paid in the next little more than two months. So, uh, we had planned to do the work for which we were raising funds and then this thing has come. So I was like, oh, do we do the work or we put the money in the land? And I was thinking which one to do. Uh, and I'm like, okay, if we do both, God's account is not going to run dry. <laughs> Um, so we will believe God to do both. Um, so how many of you are willing to agree with me? Yeah? Okay, let's lift your hands and say, Father, we thank you for you're the one who provides, you're the one who um, empowers our hands. We thank you for this is done. We call it done in the name of Jesus. We call forth 60 lakhs that is needed. We call forth 30 lakhs that is needed for all the other work. We call forth all this money to come through in the right time in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's give thanks for it's done. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. You believe and you speak. And you do not doubt in your heart that you have received it, then you shall have it. So receiving happens in the spirit, having it happens in the physical. So unless we receive things in the spirit, we can't have it in the natural. Right? Say we receive it. <laughs> we receive the money. So if you want to give towards the land, 30 lakhs within this week. So if you want to give, please do swipe at the end of the service. Uh, account details will be there if you want to transfer online. Also you can do. Um, that's one thing. See, the vision is never the building. The building is never the vision. Facility facilitates the vision. Look at somebody and say, facility facilitates the vision. But facility is not the vision, right? The moment the facility becomes the vision, then 
we are into trouble many people are like when they build something they are like we are building the kingdom of god no when you are building a building you are not building the kingdom of god when you are building a building you are building a building when you build people you are building the kingdom of god so uh we believe in building buildings but that is not the kingdom of god building lives building marriages building people you know that's the kingdom of god and as long as the facility is facilitating the vision then the facility serves us otherwise we start to serve the facility which is a very dangerous thing to do i figured out that this is our time yeah yeah tell your friend this is our time <laughs> so if if we prepare ourselves if we really start working um we can sweep a reformation into the body of christ yeah so every revelation <clears throat> you know it starts with a revelation and when when god gives a revelation when it is counter system when it is counter culture subculture when i when i mean church culture when it is counter culture the revelation is seen as a revolution okay it is seen as revolting it is seen as you know people coming against the system so revelation revolution and then reformation and if reformation has a proper heart culture then it goes to the step beyond that called transformation many things stops at revelation level some because uh, then many things dies at revolution stage because at revolution stage it is criticized to the core stones are being thrown you know you have to stand the stones stand the storms it has to if it is from god it it stands if it is from god it stands it and then it goes to the next stage of reformation and then brings the transformation so how many of you ready to take it all the way till transformation <laughs> yeah you know you, 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 that means our hearts needs to be uh, established in the culture of heaven in the kingdom culture the thing is when i'm sharing certain things in the conferences some of our guys come and attend and say then after the session uh, uh, they come and tell me why didn't you teach these things in church i'm like what were you doing when i was teaching <laughs> uh, but uh, considering how the subconscious works it's important that we drive certain things again and again and again so i'm going to drive certain things again um little deeper so you guys are ready good so there are um different ways you can understand the gospel and there is a theological term called prolegomena prolegomena means it is the underlying assumption that we use when we are approaching scripture it is the lens that we use to see things the problem is many think they don't have a lens at all they they come to scripture open mindedly and uh they have these phrases that they have learned from some books which called is which is called plain reading of scripture there is nothing called plain reading of scripture okay everybody uses a lens everybody everybody uses a lens to approach scripture to approach god to approach circumstances even now you're using a lens to hear what i'm saying and i'm also using a lens to say what i'm saying look at somebody say everybody is using a lens <laughs> so it is important that we understand that there are lenses and it is important to know what kind of lenses we are using if is if uh, you know it's one thing to know that we are using lenses and uh, you know it's a totally different thing to know what lenses you are using so 
I would say that there are basically two lenses that you can use. The one is, the first one is, I would say, no. He is a alien looking judge. That's a wig. Okay? Um, you have to speak life over my artistic skills. <laughs> okay? So you have this judge. You have this judge seated out there, up there, you know, a nameless, faceless God who always works on right versus wrong, good versus evil. So this guy is the good versus evil, knowledge of good versus evil. Everything is black and white. So, you know, for him, you know, justice is the foundation or legal holiness. For him, holiness is a matter of legal cleansing or morally upheld standard. So this guy, this guy is primarily a judge and he is also a father. He is also a father. He is primarily a judge. So for him, what is sin? What is sin? What is sin? Disobedience is sin. For him, sin is disobedience. So, for him, it is breaking of the law. It is the breaking of the commandment. So for him, what is justice? If sin is disobedience, what is justice? It is punishment. So for him, where is justice served? Justice is served in the cross. God poured out his wrath on Jesus. God punished Jesus for our sins. And when you believe that God punished Jesus or Jesus took your punishment, you know, then you would be saved from Saved from? Jesus paid the price to the? Jesus paid the price to the? To whom did he pay? To, to this God. Jesus paid the price to this God. Okay? So Jesus saved you from? Say, Jesus saved you from the Father. <laughs> That's what this gospel says. Most of you are thinking that's what we are all saying. That means, you know, you have not been here for two years. <laughs> okay? According to this view, say this view, it's not in scripture. It is not in scripture. It is the lens. The lens that we are using. The lens we are, we are using makes us see the Bible like this. There is no single verse in the entire New Testament to talk about this kind of gospel. This we call as gospel. What, what do we call gospel? Too good to be true news. What is too good to be true? That God punished Jesus on your behalf. Look at some say that is not even good. You know, forget about too good to be true. So this is no gospel at all. This is no gospel. This is no good news. This is uh, how this came. From where did it come? How do we deconstruct all these things? You know. Check out back to the start, back to the start, back to the basics. These series in YouTube, so you'll get an idea. So, if this is shocking, then you have to visit those things. So, this is no gospel at all. This is no gospel at all. So, what is the real gospel? You know, what is the real gospel? The real gospel says God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Say Father, Son. And Holy Spirit. So they are other centered. They are other centered. They are mutually indwelling. Mutually indwelling and self emptying. Self giving. What are the three main things? They are other centered, you know, mutually indwelling. Self-emptying, self-giving, self-giving, other-centered, mutual indwelling love. This is what we call perichorosis. Peri, peri means what? Joy, what is peri? Huh? 
Peri. Peri. Perimeter. Okay. So you circle. Okay. Peri means circle. And choro. Choreography. What is dance? Okay. So circle, dance. Or triune, perichorosis. Okay. Perichorosis is a word that we that we call it triune dance. Triune dance is the other scented mutual indwelling, self emptying, this joy, this adoration, this jiggy jiggy bam bam. You guys remember that? Yeah? This jiggy jiggy bam bam thing that goes on inside is 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 our home. Why? When God created the fish, he spoke to the waters. When God created the trees, he spoke to the land. When God created the stars, he spoke to the gases. Whenever he creates, he speaks to the source. And when God wanted to create man, he, he spoke to himself. So man, bam, came right in the middle of this triune relationship. Look at him say, this perichorosis is our home. This other-centered, mutually indwelling, self-emptying, self-giving, this is our home and triune dance is our DNA. Triune dance is our DNA. We look at somebody and say, and do this, do this. We are made for connection. We are made for connection. We are made by an embrace, for an embrace. We are made by a kiss, for a kiss. We are made for relationships. We are made by relationship, you know, because God is relational. Their legal holiness is the foundation of God. Here, for this God, what is the foundation? What is the core of his being? What is the core of his being? Relationship. So if this God is at his core relational and we came into existence because God spoke to himself, what is the core of our being? Relationship. So if relationship doesn't work, there is no meaning. There is no purpose. You can be a great businessman. You have. You might be. You. You might have so many zeros following. Following one in your bank accounts, but you will not find any meaning, any purpose. Nothing will work because why? So, for if this is true, if this is true, what is sin? What is sin? If you are created for this, what is sin? Yeah. Simple. There you go. You, you can have now masters in theology. Okay? You are you're created for connection. Then what is sin? Disconnection. So what is sin? Not knowing... Look at someone say, not knowing daddy. Not knowing daddy is sin. Not knowing daddy is sin. Not sins. I'm not talking about actions. I'm talking about the core problem. Sin as a noun. Sin as a noun is not knowing daddy. It is darkness. It is being blind to the love of the father. It, see, John 17.3. What does John 17.3 say? 17.3 says, what does John 17.3 says? See, everybody here should know John 17.3. Please. Come on, by heart it. This is eternal life. That you believe Jesus and go to heaven. No, that is that God's gospel. That God's gospel is to escape hell and go to heaven. And Jesus is the way to heaven. But here, Jesus is the way to the Father. Why? Knowing daddy whom Jesus revealed is eternal life. Slap somebody and say, knowing daddy whom Jesus revealed is eternal life. So what is eternal death? Eternal death is not burning somewhere in some H2SO4. <laughs> Look at some say no H2O, only H2SO4. <laughs> no water, only sulfuric acid. That is, that is not hell. What is hell? 
not knowing daddy and daddy's love coming upon you and you resisting it that is going to be torturous because father son and holy spirit are going to attack you from three sides and you're going to push all three and that's going to take some effort and that's going to be torturous and that is hell okay if if eternal life is knowing daddy eternal death has to be not knowing daddy say eternal life okay so what is sin not knowing daddy so what is justice for this god what is justice for this god this is eternal life connection is eternal life this is sin okay what is justice uh, what is justice say restoring relationship what is justice restoring relationship. so when the father ran and hugged the son he not only showed love he showed justice because but according to that ju judge god what was not there justice was not there in the story only love was there okay but according to this god in hugging and kissing him and putting a new robe putting a new sandals and putting a new ring what happened restoration happened justice was served look at some say god's justice is always restorative so when he looked at the lady who was caught in adultery and he said neither do i condemn you go and sin no more he was not just showing mercy he was dispensing justice because by showing mercy he is show, showing justice because god's justice is restoring relationship so what is salvation what is salvation what is salvation to that god what is salvation to that god going to heaven what is salvation to this god you have to enjoy the trium dance when pin somebody and say here and now okay when you enjoy the trium dance in the here and the now you are working out your salvation okay what is you working out your salvation enjoying the trium dance in the here and the now so but how many of you are enjoying the dance look at somebody look at their face huh do they look like enjoying the dance have even dappa dance aadna mar irukku it's look it looks like their whole thing is in a different kind of dance what dance life is a bang beep <laughs> what life is a dance huh what is life you know why you know why why all those things are happening i'm going to talk about that so what happens is your soul okay your soul is an amazing thing it is the interface between heaven and hell it is the interface between spirit and body it is the interface between the spiritual world and the physical world that is the interface your soul interface and your mind your mind especially your mind is the thing and your soul put together mind will and emotion so what happens is god created your soul in such a way especially after the fall he 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 allowed it to fragment he allowed it to fragment what is a fragment you know fragment is when a traumatic experience comes when a traumatic experience hits you when when something that happens to you which is deeply impacting your soul what happens that piece that piece just fragments you know it just breaks off from the soul and comes and stays aloof called black hole what is a black hole what is a black hole black hole is a place in the universe which sucks every light but still remains dark 
no matter how much light goes its way it sucks but it still remains dark so you know it 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 fragments and and there is untold pain there is untold misery in that black hole in those things. so your soul gets fragmented you know you you have pain but when it becomes a traumatic experience it becomes like like random access memory it keeps spinning it keeps spinning it keeps spinning here it keeps spinning here is this a blessing is fragmentation a blessing hmm? yes fragmentation is a blessing just imagine you know this fragment happened in 5 years this happened in 10 years this happened when you got married that is somewhere there okay if fragmentation doesn't happen what happens hmm this whole thing will be stuck in the five year thing some traumatic experiences happened in five years just imagine if it doesn't fragment every day you are having the same emotion as that incident what would how would your life be how would your life be hellish so when it gets fragmented you are able to go on with life you are able to go on with life but what happens these fragments have have few things in common all these fragments have few things in common what is is it has some piece of information and it all every fragment has what is common in all fragment pain negative emotion negative emotion is all is there in all fragments but the info varies the info varies the info has people in it the info has words in it the info had places in it are you guys getting what i'm telling that's the reason when you go to a particular place something happens when you sit with your cousins you know after years you feel something these things come up why you go to your school you visit the places where you lived what happens something comes out what happens you keep living your life and if there are any people associated words associated places associated associated with this black hole you meet it what happens this fragment takes over the this fragment takes over the entire soul and you start behaving and reacting like when you were when that incident happened how you reacted that's how you're going to react when this incident happened what happened if you're if the trigger points are triggered in this black hole this thing is going to stir up the whole thing and you're going to have similar reaction in fact probably the same reaction that you had when the black hole was formed so there are there is untold pain untold pain misery so what do we do we have to keep this pain down we have to put a screen on the top of it and never visit it that god that legalistic god good versus evil god that god says this stuff is come on tell me that judge god says this thing is bad this comes under evil category so that god says don't visit this thing because that god hates this that god doesn't look at this so when you believe in that god you would never visit this thing you would always put put some cover upon upon it and you try to keep this thing beneath and you try to manage it you try to keep it but what each and every time a trigger point comes it keeps coming up it keeps coming up and then you try to you know put all these things down but you will never visit it because that god says this is bad don't go there don't go there don't go there so what happens here in these black holes the whisper of evil the whisper of evil devil's lies this is the uncle's car lion king chapter 3 verse 14 
uncle scar comes and tells lies to you this is the um oh shen na in kung fu panda what's the name of the peacock lord shen the shen you know comes and tells you lies your parents abandoned you kung fu panda's mom and dad left it as a baby and ran when shen came to attack but what is the lie what is the lie implanted the lie is i am not lovable i am not lovable every black hole has a i am not statement tell them every fragment tell your friend every fragment has a i am not statement i am not valuable i am not acceptable i am not lovable i am not precious i am not worthy i am not good enough i am not come on tell me i am not trustworthy i am not beautiful i am not successful i am not this i am i i am not is the whisper of evil i am not is the whisper of evil that is being you know released into your black holes and when you believe it when you accept it when you agree it what happens those i am not statements becomes so these these black holes becomes strongholds stronghold once it becomes a stronghold who comes and stays there demons demons comes and stays there so if you go to a deliverance ministry they'll say hey hey onnume illa nalum kathradhil enna seiyum light appadi or mari even if there is nothing there they say come out you spirit of rejection come out so when i keep saying it you would start vomiting you there might be there are people for whom diarrhea will happen you know these things will happen it is just like this you know undigested food you know if you you'll feel little relieved after vomiting like that many people feel little relieved after deliverance ministry okay i vomited finally few demons have left me but 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 the home still remains the lie is not broken the i am not statements are not removed look at some say break the house destroy the house see if you don't destroy the house and if you, and if you just chase the demons out what would happen they will come back every other week you have to meet a deliverance guy every other week you have to meet a deliverance fellow bye veliva mm. why are you saying that you have to contact all those interviews and it will tell it will say go go take that pen and come i am because he is having a pen then this fellow will go take the pen the thing is this that demon is controlling him the deliverance ministry guy but this guy is thinking he is control hey! <laughs> look at somebody and say destroy the strongholds go after the lies break the lies that is the problem demon is not the problem demon is the fruit what is the root lie lie whisper of evil pinch somebody and say whisper of evil see now when you're pinching what they are feeling you are not lovable <laughs> that's that's the lie you know devil uses everything and anything johnny everything and anything to tell you these lies see when peter didn't have uh, fish all through the night what did the whisper of evil tell him you are a failure you are a you are a failure god doesn't love you god hates you you are not even getting a tadpole tavaka kunju madram kada kuda kadaikka maatidhu unakku na ra muludum prayasa pattai you tried the whole night the next day jesus comes he gets two boats full of fishes what is the whisper of evil telling what is the whisper of evil telling i am a sinner please 
Look at some say, he will use the empty boat. He will also use the full boats. <laughs> he will use everything and anything as a proof to tell you I am not statements into your life. You are not married. What is, the, what is the enemy telling you? Ah, nobody wants you. The thing is, the problem is, it doesn't come with nobody wants you. It doesn't come in that voice. Four years they made me a devil in college. I'd been doing this. <laughs> no devil speaks like that. Devil speaks like your own thoughts. If devil only spoke like, ah, if you are the son of God, turn the stone. If devil speaks like that, anybody, any Tom, Dick and Harry will reject it. The problem is devil's voice doesn't come to you like that. Devil's voice comes to you in the form of parent's voice. Friend's voice. Spouse voice, your own voice. I am not. It doesn't come, you are not. It comes as first person singular. <laughs> Physics, solitandi, psychology, solitandi, English, solitandi. First person singular. What is first person singular? I am not. It doesn't come in second person, you. It comes as your own thought. You know, people, you know, you speak to such people, they will be, they will, they will. <laughs> Nobody loves me. <laughs> I'm not valuable. They'll, they'll tell all these things. Then you ask them, what is God telling you? I'm not able to hear God's voice. <laughs> of course. Why? God's voice also comes as your thoughts and when it comes as your thoughts, you are rejecting it at? If only a thought comes, I am lovable, you will say, Tch, I am thinking too much. <laughs> that you reject it as your own thought. But when devil comes with a first person singular, I am not statement, you grab it, you hold it, you embrace it. Oh no, you never let go. <laughs> Hold me in your arms. You, you grab the lie. You accept it. You take it in. You make it your own. You make it your identity statement. Ontology. Ontology means study of being. These lies are ontological lies. It, it gets into the being. So what happens? When you're having black hole, when you're having these fragments, what is not possible? What is not possible? What is not possible? Huh? What is not possible? Relationship is not possible. You will not be able to connect with people. You will not be able to connect with people. Safe distance will become your goal. Connection will not be your goal. Safe distance will be your goal. So when safe distance becomes your goal, there is no meaning, there is no purpose, there is nothing, there is no joy, there is no celebration, nothing. You just exist, you start existing. So what happens? You have to deal with this pain. Look at someone and say, you have to deal with this pain. So when you have to deal with this pain, devil comes up with schemes. Like LIC schemes. Have you spoken to people who explain schemes? They'll give you four or five schemes. If you don't like this, you can take this. If you don't like these two, I have one more. If you don't like these three, don't worry, I have one more. Like that devil gives you schemes to deal with this pain, with the, to deal with this black hole. What is the scheme number one he gives you? The scheme number one, it is called self-salvation. Say self-salvation. Suya red chip, suya meat, self salvation. They, they, you know what, 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 those who have joined this scheme, what, what do they believe? They firmly believe that I am not statement. They firmly believe the lie. I am not, but I can be. But I can be one day. One day. Urunar. I am not holy, but 
one day i will be holy i am not lovable but one day I'll... who has joined this game all the churches who have jo joined this game all the churches all the pastors so what are the symptoms what are the symptoms if you join this game this, this symptom number 1 will be busyness these people those of those who have subscribed to this scheme will be hard working people i am not against hard working i am for excellence okay i am for excellence but many times many times we are very busy because we we are dealing with we are dealing with pain con every monday meeting tuesday meeting wednesday meeting thursday meeting for dogs you know you know some meeting or the other if no meeting is there the pastor will be will be on the phone praying for somebody entertainment niya nana avala ivala entertainment constantly keep yourself engaged facebook whatsapp is anybody able to go to the bathroom today without the phone huh the moment smartphone came restroom is no longer a restroom there is no rest if you if you have forgotten you have to shout hey and the mobile eduthu kudu get the phone why you know your hands are shaking what happens to tamil women how do they deal with the pain serial that's why it's called serial killer <laughs> 8:30 night 8:30 their eyelids start flipping <laughs> something is happening you have to go watch that you have to check you have to you have to you know so the self salvation will be always in the have to's i have to do something i have to keep myself busy i have to do this oh business work here you know if you're a dad you might be you know working really hard paying all the bills so a dad looked at his son and said i gave you money i gave you car i gave you uh, you know two wheeler i gave you video games i gave you good clothes i gave you food i gave you vacation i gave you everything and and the son says you didn't give me your time you didn't give me your time you gave me everything yes work 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 you're thinking what what for whom am i doing all these things yaar ka kaise se kar probably you're dealing with your pain probably you're dealing with your pain two days if you keep quiet what comes out black hole comes out you take you cancel all ministry appointments for a pastor you cancel all speaking arrangements you you cancel everything you just put him in his room don't give him his phone don't give him everything and put a camera and watch him the black hole comes out when you're alone the black hole comes out it comes and torments you so to just to forget that you keep doing something this look at some say if you don't like this game there is another scheme <laughs> the next scheme is called denial huh, black hole what do you mean by black <laughs> what do you mean by hole <laughs> i don't have anything i don't have black i don't have hole i don't have anything i don't have a problem what is denial i don't have a problem see this is uh, many of us subscribe to this scheme because uh, but you can easily tell that they have a problem because they will not have intimate relationships you try to have intimate relationship with them they're like woo cobra <laughs> you try getting in touch with them you just move to their intimate zone you you just step into their inner circle <laughs> say denial 
I don't have an I don't have an issue. So who has lot of issue? If you have subscribed to denial, you not only having fragments, you are having only fragments. If you are living, you are having only fragments. Everything is fragmented. I don't want to visit that. Look at some say. If you don't like these two schemes, I'll give you another scheme. <laughs> This one is a very common scheme. This is called. The third one is called medication. What is the third third scheme? How do you deal with the pain? Medication. Use some form of. Use some form of. Substance, narcotics, drink, coffee, sugar, tea, globe jamun, <laughs> rasagulla. Thai or Mao? Use something daily, <laughs> without that, we cannot survive. Medicate the pain. Pornography, porn. Watch porn. Watch this. You know, I want to forget the pain for some time. What is what? What is the uh, medication scheme uh, uh, motto? They. firmly believe the i am not lies but they say but i can't bear it i am not lovable but i am not able to bear that pain i am lonely but i am not able to bear that pain i have to take something i have to do something i have to take tablets i have to do something <laughs> have a moment Tree high. Have a momentary high to fix my lows. Medication. Look at some say there is another scheme. This scheme is usually worked out in marriages. It is called the fix me. They firmly believe I am not. but they say but it's your fault <laughs> i am not lovable but i am feeling like this because of you i am like this because of you because you did like i am feeling like this i am feeling abandoned why because you did like that so it's whose fault it's your fault you have to do something it's your problem fix me look at some say there is another scheme <laughs> no agent gives you so many schemes man no agent gives you so many schemes so lo one na renda what is the other the final one is called confirmational society what is that confirmational society what is it say it firmly believes i am not okay i am not but tell me it's okay all clubs bars everything legs form homosexual club i am not like this i am like this but tell me it's okay i am having pain but don't say i have to change i have to address it just tell me it's okay just 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 let's do something together tell me it's okay look at some say tell me it's okay all these schemes will disappoint you all these schemes will put you down come on what are the, what are the schemes come on tell me what is the first one self salvation what is it saying I am not, but I can be. The whole self-help books, self-help gurus. You can, you can. 
and for three days after they attending the seminar they'll be like you know duracell battery bunnies <laughs> will run forever the fourth day bonk i am not but i can be when now what is the second scheme denial i don't have an issue black hole what do you mean by black hole I don't know. I have never seen a color black. But you just go and hug them. You just go and hug them. You know how they'll stand? <laughs> they can't hug you. They can't hug you back. They can never enjoy a hug because I don't have pain. I don't have pain. You don't hug me. You don't bring me these emotions. <laughs> Look at somebody say the problem with deception is you do not know that you are deceived. <laughs> What is the problem with deception? You do not know that you are deceived. You need a friend to tell you, "Hey, some problem is there." <laughs> you have some problem. What is the third scheme? Medication. What is medication? Using some substance something just to deal with your pain just to deal with that lie whisper of evil that i am not i am not i am not oh i am a failure i failed as a father i failed as a husband i have failed as a businessman i failed as a friend i have failed as this i failed as that oh that pain keeps coming up i have to deal with it i need to do something what is the other one hmm fix me shame look at some say wherever there is shame there is blame wherever there is shame there is blame god asked adam hey why why did you eat that tree you know what he did in black the wife that you gave me the wife that you gave me neenga kudutingle enak oru manavi so ivar saaptadhukku yaar dhaan kaaranama so who is the reason for adam's fall God Why did you give me I would have happily roamed around with horses and donkeys Enna nga ninga yenga ipdi sirikringa I would have happily roamed around with horses and donkeys Why did you give me one more and that lady seduced me and now you are asking me why did you eat the lady that you gave me you are responsible If I'm like this, you are responsible. Fix me. It's your problem. What is the fifth one? Confirmational society. Just tell me it's okay. Don't tell me it's wrong. You know, don't hurt me. You know, don't, don't, don't point things at me where things have to change. Just tell me it's okay. Everybody is like this. Everybody has a black hole. You know, just let's just join together and enjoy the black hole. So what is sin? What is sin? Sin is not knowing daddy. That is the reason for That is the reason for black hole. Not knowing daddy. What are sins? What are sins? what are sins sins are all these schemes okay destructive ways of dealing with pain what are sins these five schemes you know all the actions that come under these five schemes it might be ministry it might be anything substance abuse it might be drugs it, it might be fasting it might be mission work you know how many missionaries are going there you know see they might have they might have had a past in the sense you know i was drug addict i was this i was that i was this i was that and then god saved me so they have this urge to serve god and repay they have failed god for 30 years for the next 30 years they have this urge to somehow repay god through ministry 
which is again dealing with pain which is again dealing with an i am not statement so distract say destructive ways includes good stuff and bad stuff the knowledge of good and evil the knowledge of good brings death as much as the knowledge of evil brings i think you didn't get what i said the knowledge of good brings as much death as the knowledge of evil brings it is very easy to identify the knowledge of evil what is the work of the flesh in galatians maamsa din kiriye kala therlenadu ba meet you all in the office enna ba ah var correct ah solvanga vibacharam vesithanam fornication adultery anger this and that what is the work of the flesh according to philippians chapter 3 adha na what is the work of the flesh circumcision what is paul saying i am circumcised on the eighth day a pharisee unto a pharisee according to the law not blamed say according to the law not blamed is also the works of the flesh it comes under the knowledge of good category Gal- galatians 5 come under the knowledge of evil category but the moment i say works of the flesh what only comes only evil comes but good also brings death good also brings death because we are using good stuff also to deal with our black hole with the pain so how to get healed these salvation schemes will not work how many of you know that these salvation schemes never work how many of you tried all five <laughs> we have tried different things at different stages in life nothing works the pain keeps surfacing again and again again and again again and again so what to do how 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 to get healed how to get healed i said you have this black hole fragments okay what are the common denominators in all the fr- fragments it all has pain then it all has whisper of evil which is i am not statements which is the lie of the enemy then so it has pain it has the whisper of evil which is a stronghold which is a lie of the enemy which is the identity statements which are the twisted identity statements corrupted identity statements what is the third common denominator or the foundational denominator of all these things because of this enemy uh, because of the lie of the enemy because of the pain what we believe is the fundamental lie that we believe is we believe we have this cry in that in 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 that all the fragments we have this cry what do we have in all the fragments in all these fragments we have my god my god why did you forsake me see the bible says in second corinthians 5:21 that he became sin for us that we might be become, we might become the righteousness of god according to the legal framework according to the first framework legal judge lens right versus long lens i've asked many people what do you mean by jesus became sin on the cross because according to legal framework what what a sin what is sin sin is disobedience so what do you mean by jesus became sin for there sin is primarily an action so what do you mean by jesus became sin what do you mean by jesus became pornography are you guys getting what i'm telling you can never explain how jesus became sin in a legal framework but when sin is defined in a relational framework of not knowing daddy then that's where the root of the sin is addressed look at somebody and say sin is primarily a relational issue moral issue is the fruit 
relational issue is the root is the root of all the trouble not knowing daddy so we all have that cry my god my god why did you forsake me so how do we get healed how do we get healed in the beginning was the word the word was with the word was with that this word with means face to face the word was with god the word was god in him in him was life that life was light unto men okay what is life what is life what is john 17 3 knowing daddy so in him was life who, who is the only person who knew daddy jesus what is john 118 says john 119 118 what does it say come on put john 118 no one has known the father no one has known the father except come on read it out loud everybody no one has seen god at any time the only begotten son who is in the bosom of the father he has declared him no one knew god in the old testament nobody knew god i'm asking you a question in the old testament nobody knew god moshi how did moses moses what, what, how did moses know god face to face thrice in the old testament the bible says moses spoke to god face to face when he's t- telling condemning other uh, prophets he's telling hey i'm not speaking to other prophets like how i spoke to moses i am speaking to god uh, moses face to face abraham was called the friend of god moses spoke face to face abraham was called the friend of god david was called man after god's own heart and jesus comes and stands in that very same place where all these three guys lived and says what no one knew god at any time except the son so what does that mean they have all known god but they have not known the father they have not known the father why how many books are there in the old testament hmm 39 how many books are there in the new testament which one is greater 39 or 27 Huh? Which thirty nine or twenty seven? Thirty nine is greater than twenty seven. So, how many times in the thirty nine books, Old Testament, entire Old Testament put together, from Matthew till? What is this book? Na pa? Revelation. Ah, <laughs> Old Testament. Like what is this book? Na the. Thirty-nine books put together. You know how many times the word "father" is used to address God? Fifteen times. Just fifteen times, the entire Old Testament reveals God as a father, and not even out of the fifteen, not even one time it was addressed as my father. Nobody had the guts to call him my daddy. All these fifteen times, it was generic terms in the sense. father of a nation father of israel father of king who is again representing nation it was all generic terms the father is used no not of, not even one time out of the 15 times you, you know psalms you read psalms no matter how much david is close with god david never had the audacity to call him daddy my daddy you have so many names of god yehova shamma yehova shalom yehova nisi yehova Rafa, I have a cast. I have a sit cane. I have a chicka boka bo. God who doesn't need a runway, huh? God who doesn't need a 
runway you you know you have so many names of god but father how many times 15 times and that too in generic terms not a single guy called him father you come to new testament 27 books okay 39 15 times 27 forget about 27 let's go to the matthew mark luke john just four gospels okay four gospels you know how many times father is used 179 times how many times 179 times father is used something has happened after jesus came something has happened after jesus came what has happened the father came out to picture till then only god was there till then that only that distant god people saw but now jesus came to reveal the father so jesus said i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father jesus is the way to the father knowing daddy is eternal life knowing daddy not any daddy not 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 the daddy that abraham revealed not the daddy that moses revealed not the daddy that david revealed but the daddy that Jesus revealed when Elijah when Elijah was there and the king calls him sends uh, sends these troops 50 50 soldiers 50 soldiers you know what is Elijah doing barbecue <laughs> all 50 are burnt and the next 50 comes barbecue <laughs> all 50 are burnt the third 50 the, the leader comes and falls at Elijah's feet and says oh man of god please don't kill us and immediately do you know what happened the bible says the angel up, the, the first two times when he killed you know what he, how he said if i am a prophet of god who stands before in the presence of god let fire come the third time before he started if i am a pro-, an angel came and closed his mouth and, and said the first statement he said was do not be afraid <laughs> do not be தலைவர் ஃபயர் ஃபயர் ஏன் கத்துனாராம் ஃபிஃப்டி பீப்புள் பார்த்தோன்னே பட் வாட் இஸ் அ டைலாக் இஃப் ஐ எம் த மேன் ஆஃப் காட் ஏஞ்சல் கேம் சே டு நாட் பி அஃப்ரைட் கோ அண்ட் மீட் த கிங் ஐ எம் வித் யூ சேஸ் த லாட் ஸோ வாட் வாஸ் த ரீசன் ஃபார் த ஃபயர் எல்ஐ ஜாஸ் பிளாக் ஹோல் புரியுதா எலைஜாக்கே பிளாக் ஹோல் இருக்குன்னு சொல்லிட்டா ஆமா எலைஜாக்கு தான் இருக்கு ஈவன் எலைஜா ஹேட் பிளாக் ஹோல் அண்ட் ஹீ இஸ் யூசிங் தட் பிளாக் ஹோல் அண்ட் சைட் ஃபயர் அண்ட் when jesus comes to samaria along with his disciples his his disciples are looking at jesus and saying jesus jesus is not able to understand finally jesus saying why are you telling me inna i am not able to understand then peter comes and says fire elijah barbecue <laughs> then jesus says jesus says something what is he saying what spirit do you have do you have the spirit of elijah who was suffering from black hole or do you have the spirit of christ who knows the father so when he said that he is distancing himself from Elijah and his works. So it is not knowing God through scripture. It is knowing God through the word. I It is not knowing God through scripture which will give you life. Put up John 5:39 in message version. Look at somebody and say knowing God through scripture will not give you life. knowing god through word which is jesus will gives you will give you eternal life okay john 539 in message version he says he's talking to pharisees okay you have your heads in your bibles constantly huh constantly you are having your heads in your bibles you think you will find eternal life there but look at them say but but na nanga but 
But no, no. The previous statement has to be questioned. You think you have eternal life where? In the Bible and you are putting your nose inside the Bible. But you miss the forest for the trees. You miss the forest for the trees. Why? These scriptures are all about me. The word. The Jesus. The word who was face to face with the father. Look at some say, unless you find Jesus in the scripture, scriptures will kill you. Unless you find Jesus in the scripture, scriptures will kill you. You will not have life. You think you have life in the Bible. But Jesus says, I am standing in front of you, you are missing me. Look at some say, the only, many times, say many times, the thing that stands between you and God is the Bible. Add the video put on. What was standing between Jesus and the Pharisees? Their Bible. Their law. Their text. God says, guys, just put the book down and see me. I am here. You know me, you will have life. You know me, you will have life. So whenever I am going to conferences, some guys will jump and say, What does this verse mean? I say, relax. <laughs> Let the verse mean anything. But can you apply that verse in the life of Jesus? Can you apply that verse in the life of Jesus? So any scripture that does not fit into the word, we have a right to question. Okay, I get it. So, Jesus comes up, comes to us, and this Jesus, who was the Word, who was face to face, who knew Daddy, who knew Daddy so different from Moses, so different from Elijah, so different. He knew Daddy without any veil, he, do, he knew Daddy as he is. That Word became flesh. That word became flesh and dwelt among us. See, if, if the word was pros or, you know, human, okay, the word did not become human. That would be a good thing. But the gospel is not that the word became human. The word became sarks. The word became flesh. Flesh is enmity against God. What is enmity against God? Sarks. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. John specifically uses the word sarks instead of human. He says the word became flesh. He stepped into the enmity and saw the father. He stepped into your black hole. He stepped into your black hole. Your fragments. You know that's the gospel. The gospel is that there is no fragment in your life where Jesus has not visited and found the father. Every black hole, Jesus has already gone there and seen the Father. Not just gone there. Not sat there and came out. Sat there and saw the Father. How? How? In all the fragments, what do we have, GP? My God? My God? Why did you forsake me? What was, what was he crying on the cross? What was he crying on the cross? My God? My God? Why did you forsake me? Read Psalms 20 to 24. For he has not despised. He has not disdained the suffering of the afflicted one. Hmm. He has not hidden his face from him. He has listened to the cry. Come on, everybody read. He did not hide his face. 
the father never hid his face from jesus you know that is the gospel the gospel is that he never hid so what how, how does this thing proceed you know come on the word was with face to face with god in him was life that is knowing daddy that life was light unto men ulagathil endha manushaniyum prakashippikira meyana oli aduve this light is the true light that shines that shines in every man say this light what is this light what is this light what is this light light is the life what is the life knowing daddy so that that knowledge that jesus has of the father shines in every man and the next verse says darkness cannot comprehend it say no matter how black your black hole is the light shines through that black hole the light shines through that black hole the light shines through it light shines through it you are not able to see daddy but who has seen daddy in your black hole jesus has found his father and he shares that knowledge with you the bible says when holy spirit comes he shall take of what is mine and share with you so how do you get healed you don't get healed through your salvation schemes you get healed by visiting your black hole you are trying to put it behind your back you are trying to put it behind your back and you are like i will not visit it i will not visit i am telling you the only way to get healed is to turn and visit it and see jesus holding it together for you when you see jesus holding it together for you you are healed and your fragment is healed and your fragment comes and gets attached to the soul and you become whole hearted you become whole hearted when fragments are healed you become whole hearted when you become whole hearted what happens your relationships improve your relationships improve when relationships improve what happens joy comes meaning comes purpose comes otherwise you are just existing look at some say don't exist live live i came so that you might have life and life in abundance tell your friend you don't take jesus there tell them you 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 don't take jesus there you go there you will find jesus already there you are not taking him there you are not telling him i'm going to show you something real messy don't get scared okay i am scared too but you don't get scared you don't tell those things to jesus you open that door and you step in and you find jesus smiling there jesus is already there jesus is holding it together there see the world is tired the world is tired and a religious gospel a legal gospel is not the solution any any gospel that 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 does that does not address your black hole is of no use is of no use and a legal gospel can never address it a legal gospel can only condemn it can speak against it can make you feel like crap every eye closed that he wants to heal you that he wants to heal you so much there is no scar there is no scar just open your arms and say 
just as i open my arms daddy i open my heart to you i open all the areas of my heart invite him in the sense i want you to go there and see him find him find him there don't introspect don't introspect without jesus if you visit your black hole without jesus it will kill you i'm telling you if you visit your black hole without jesus it will kill you suicide it will take you to suicide if if you visit your black hole without visiting jesus there suicide is the only option but i'm telling you you can find life when you find jesus there that is the gospel the gospel is jesus doesn't hate your black hole jesus loves you so much he stepped into the gutter for us and he has healed it for us he has seen the father in our darkest nights oh he has seen the father in our darkest nights he has seen the father in our darkest night